Thanks for returning. This is the second part of chapter six in the series of Know Your Enemy, Reframing PTSD. It's about the ways of the Spirit, the Spirit of God, part of our incredible guidance system. The Spirit is the third number of the Godhead, sometimes referred to as the Trinity. I can explain on that. But there's God the Father, His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit. That Spirit can't have a body, otherwise it couldn't dwell within us. From my father's Bible, it's actually printed in 1901. My brother has the one that he took through him to World War II. It's the account of the Jews from the beginning of time, clean through the teachings of Jesus Christ, the prophecies, the covenants made to not only the house of Israel, but all of us that believe in such things. The Book of Mormon. This being written in Eurasia, at this the same time through that, there was people here in the Americas writing the Book of Mormon covering from two, approximately 2000 BC to the last accounts written in 421 AD, which is Moroni's last account. The two verify each other from both, is which is what I've learned, what I'm trying to present to you. Expound a little bit, Book of Mormon, 531 pages, 15 books, 239 chapters. Of that, there's 6,607 verses of those. 3,925 mention some form of Christ's name or his nature. Mormon, a prophet at the time, is the one that took all those plates, thousands of years of them, and abridged them to what we call the Book of Mormon today. He took them from writings of brass that had come from uh, uh, Jerusalem and from gold. They switched to gold when they got here to the Americas. There was so much of it, it was easier for them to carve their figures in. We revere Mormon as a prophet. An account from Helaman, the Book of Helaman and the Book of Mormon. This is from chapter 5, verse 30. So I want to show you what I'm trying to explain to you. This is written in about let me find the page here, I got it marked. About 30 BC, the sons of Helaman, Lehi and Nephi are in prison for preaching the word of God. A group of about 300 people had came to take him out of prison and kill him. It's a wonderful account, I've just given you a part of it. As they got to the prison to drag him out and murder him, a voice came into them. They stopped what they were doing. This is a description of it. And it came to pass when they heard this voice and beheld that it was not a voice of thunder, neither was it a voice of great tumultuous noise, but behold, it was a still voice of perfect mildness, and it was as if it had been a whisper, and it did pierce even to their very soul. That's a better description of what I'm trying to present to you. If you ever wanted a free Book of Mormon, you could go here, and I'll have it in the description box. You can drop down, there'll be direct links to it. Come unto Christ.org. I don't know what they call these, but you'll see that little symbol there. You go to contact and you'll see, you can download a free version, put it on your phone, you can have missionaries deliver you a copy. You can have a copy mailed. Why well, I'm showing this to you, who are we? Why are we here? What is the purpose of life? All these questions I had in my mind 
were answered here. You like Facebook? There's a lot of postings on Facebook. You can either freeze frame this, I'll have a link in there. Facebook, come unto Christ. Or if you wanted to purchase one. It's hard to put this on one page, so it's kind of a maze, but go to lds.org, quick links, it's about halfway down. Go to online store, go to gospel study, go to scriptures. You'll see there's over 110 languages it's printed in. There's big print, there's small print, there's pocket versions, all the different prices, but they you can be around $3.70. Another option you'll see, you probably already have, there's over 67,000 missionaries in the, in the field covering most of the world. You won't have to look far. Ask one for a copy, they carry them with them. You realize they're not paid. They're given two years of their life as a gift, looking for you. You who seek the truth. Many of them saved since their children. And those that don't have the money, if they come from a poor region of the world, a way is provided for them. They give their all. They are virtually warriors against evil. I marvel at them. Talk to them. This is a reproduction of the statue called the Christus. It's actually 12 feet tall, it's in Copenhagen. It was made by a man named Bertel Torvaldsen. This smaller version was given to me as a birthday present. It's a marvel by somebody very, very special. I took it out and put it in the snow. That's what you see, <laughs> looks like clouds. It sits in the kitchen constantly reminding me, in front of me. I share you my testimony. Because of the ways of the Spirit and the teachings of Jesus Christ, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, every fiber of my being knows that he lives. And Jesus is the Christ. Because of that, I have joy in my life. If happiness is rain, joy is a hurricane. It's that more, it's more significant. Does that mean that my life is easy? No, I'm just like you, I have obstacles to overcome. But I have joy. The Book of Mormon was written for our day. You'll see. History repeats itself. You'll see what we deal with today. It's happened before here. You read those accounts, it really open your eyes what we're going through today. This was from chapter four, I used this slide. I can already previously explained it, but all the things in the negative that we can deal with, there's a list of them here, and the things that are in the positive, they're opposites. Opposites can't exist at the same time. So it's the light of Christ. I tried to make it as bright as I could in the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what separates those two. I choose to live here. Doesn't mean I don't dip back and forth sometimes. I'm a human being. Sometimes I land over here, but I can hardly wait to get back over here. Peace lives here. A saying I wish I could know who to give credit to. I heard years ago, going through late at night in the desert, the statement was, most people would rather remain in the familiarity of hell than go through the uncertainty of change. Let me repeat that. Most people would rather remain in the familiarity of hell than go through the uncertainty of change. Wherever you go in the world, I marvel, the spirit will be the same. No matter the culture, 
and in their own language. That's impossible if it wasn't real. I read one last account to you before I close. This is written in 421 AD by Moroni, the son of Mormon. His father had already been killed in battle and all of the rest of his nation. He's the lone survivor. He's found enough room in the plates to write a few of these words. They're plates of gold. These are some of the last things that he carved in there. And when you shall receive these things, I would exhort you that you would ask God, the Eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. And if you ask with a sincere heart and with real intent, having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it to you by the power of the Holy Ghost. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will know the truth of all things. As it's written in the Bible, seek, you shall find, knock, and it shall be opened. It is my prayer that you do. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.